It's not easy. The repetition, repetition, repetition. But at such young age, they are able to absorb all the techniques and the tools that they. I was born in Korea. It's just me and my mom. I'm the only child. I was raised in Seoul until I was 10. I went to Australia and New Zealand to travel with my mom. And by the time we got to New Zealand, it was so nice and peaceful. She asked me, how do you feel about living here? And I said, yeah, I would, I would like that. <laughs> As soon as I came back, I did an audition, and luckily I got in right away. I was still like 15. I was deciding whether I should move to America. And I went there, I checked school out, everything was kind of decided, like 80. And I came back to New Zealand to pack my stuff up, and that's when I realized I don't want to go to America and do another study there by myself. I actually want to become a singer. Like, I don't being told that I'm not good at stuff face to face and trying to keep everything together. They need you to be at their standard. I remember having to send a good friend of mine home every month. I knew I could do it. Like the tougher they treated me, I'm like... She told me to I don't regret spending time as a trainee learning how to dance, how to sing. We just got along so well because usually there's like, oh, I want to sing more or, oh, I want to be in the middle. There's always those little fights going on in the groups. But when it was the four of us, it was clear what we were doing. And that's what made it possible for us to be in a group. I was in the Kung Fu ちょっと全然。じゃ、처음 한 명씩 맡아 최고의 자리에서 발언했던 것 같아요. 막, 아, 이렇게 한 명씩 맡는 자리에서 하니까 이렇게 큰. 다른 친구들보다는 좀 늦게 시작을 해서 저는. 친구들이랑 추억도 많이 쌓고 학교에서의 생활도 많았어서 저는 태국에서 태어났고 끝이 정말 불이 남하니까 맛도 지금 해 또한 야외 맛도 안 แบบเอาลดลงมาให้มันแบบเล็กเค้าตัวหนูแล้วหนูก็แบบเต้นร้องเพลงคนเดียวอะไรเงี้ยแล้วก็แม่เค้าก็เห็นว่าแบบเออห
พอรู้ว่าเขาเรียกเราคนเดียวแบบเฮ้ยมันเป็นไปได้ด้วยเหรอแบบแต่ก็ทายอนสุดโอเคถึงก่อนเที่ยวมุงก็ฮับปี้ชายมาจดสอบหลังจากนั้นก็ไปเดินประกวดสายเต้นแบบว่า dance competition stuff มันเป็นการประกวดประกวดหนึ่งตอนนั้นหนูอายุ12หรือ13เนี่ยแหละแล้วเหมือนแมวมองเขาแบบว่าเออเนี่ยน้องทำไมไม่แบบลองไปร้องเพลงอยากเป็นนักร้องไหมตอนนี้ยังไงเขาคือเซาประนานไหมคะกับท่าเต้นบีบอยหรือเปล่าคะรู้สึกว่าเออเราเราก็ชอบทั้งร้องเพลงแล้วก็ทั้งเต้นอะไรเงี้ยค่ะแล้วมันก็เป็นช่วงที่บอกว่ามีออเดชั่นของ YG พอดี I was 14 such a kid Like that, then. So, it's like waiting for the next day. We have to fight with him. We have to fight with him until the end. Do you see that? Thai girl, Jenny, Jenny, is also there. 언니만 영어 가능했던 사람인 거예요. 그 연습생 중에서 언니랑 영어 하기도 하고 저희가 직접 짜고 근데 이제 담당이 있어요. 이 사람은 막 보컬 다 저는 항상 안무 담당이어가지고 그래서 항상 제가 짜고 그랬었어요. 그 5년 동안 평가 끝나고 점수 같은 거 나와요. I was 16, and I went and auditioned, and then they called me and they were like, can you fly to Korea within two months? And then my whole life changed. After all of this... Hi. You're the boy. I just woke up and welcome to Pajama News. I was born in New Zealand and then I moved to Australia when I was eight. My dad saw it on the news that YG was coming to Australia. I was like... Back then, I was always on the piano. Like I'd like sit there and I'd play this lullaby for myself. I went to church every Sunday and had a lot of Korean friends there. But then at school, I was just like a normal Australian kid. And I think I enjoyed having two lives. I think there were like nine girls. They were planning on creating a big group. There's this like basic routine you have to learn in dancing. Jenny was like, the first thing you have to learn is that, and I'll teach you the first moves. At the end of every month, our boss and all the producers would come and we'd perform a solo song, a group song, and a group. And of course, you start looking at their individuality, like their character. Four of them just felt right. 